So, once we free both Hofgoofers and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hofgoofer. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alpine, but, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Wise words. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. We gotta find the right cave. There's the other half, Koopa. Under all that hive. There, I see a way in. But I'm glad we're doing this. The sandstorm just feels wrong for Alpha. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Now, once we free this other half, Goofa, it'll be a duet. What is this place? It doesn't look like a dark elf cave. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Amir, the last time we were in Alfheim, this hive stuff was all over the realm. It looked unnatural. Like it was choking the life out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. To the Dark Elves, the Hive is more natural than that faultless, lily-white column in the center of the well. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the Light Well, or even our trapped half for that matter. You have a point. I'd like to believe I always do. <laughs> what are the Light Elves doing down here? Isn't this Dark Elf territory? Territory changes hands often in Alfheim. <laughs> Big Beard did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Oops. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. With two hot goofers free, are they gonna be able to, uh, make more? Almost certainly. A bittersweet spectacle, considering the cost. The cost? Aye. The adult's light fades as they pass it on to their offspring. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to, but the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. Damn. That's... Wow. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do. Here it is. Guess it's time to free it. You don't seem particularly happy about it, lad. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. 
so they will die protected. I hadn't thought about it like that. I just, if I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. I know, son, but it is the only choice they can make. to the surface then. The fate of these creatures, it reminds me of a story. Yeah? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Mother, of... Mother, please. It's okay. What is okay? You don't have to... Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but... It doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yes. So, what happened with the blacksmith? His daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know. But I would. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. It again. This one's all yours, brother. You know what? Never mind. Wow. The Song of the Sands. Well, didn't know I could get misty. It's beautiful. Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped.
No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? like we can read the inscription now as well. In honor of the Enlightened One, may his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all, or should I say, his presence. You are not funny. Father, do you think there will ever be peace in Alphon? Peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. But Mom helped you find peace, right? How are the elves supposed to change if no one shows them the way? Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alfheim may not bring peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. Attack! 
on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. these books an archive of knowledge don't see any light elves around for now maybe they've left for the day and we can browse at our leisure Valin schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. <laughs> These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Why would anyone do that? Many prefer violence than to be challenged by the truth. Looks like the ancient elves wrote a lot. And none of the light or dark elves have seen any of this? Seems like stuff they'd want to read. <laughs>
sealed, but there is an inscription. The Consul. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. It appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike, brother. <laughs> Brother, get up, brother. all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. <laughs> Gotta admit, didn't think it was gonna end that way. Last we traveled here, when the Dark Elf King attacked us. The ramifications were dire for his people. We will not make the same mistake twice. Amir, what else do you know of the mask? 
Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Adia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Something angry back there. decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. <laughs> 